Hey everybody, Dan here. Today I wanted to do a video on how to make this Google Maps into Revit. Well, more specifically, this plot of land here. I want to be able to model that in Revit. And so we're going to go over how I do it. I don't know if there's a better way or if this is even a good way to do it. But this is how we're going to do it. So. This is my plot of land that I want to model. And I'm just going to click up here with my right clicker. And then click measure a distance. And then I'm just going to click what looks like the size of the lot that I can build on. And it goes to about right there. And down here, it tells us some things about it. Um, anyways, I just want to have this in my view and then take a screenshot of it. And I already took a snippet of it. So let's work our way over to Revit. Okay, and here we are. We've made it to Revit. And we're just gonna go to the insert button and then we'll click image. And then site layout, but I named it. And we'll just place it in here. Now, what I want to do is make a detail line, push DL, and I'm going to draw a line that is 100 feet. And I'm going to use that. So then I can scale this 100 feet between the 7 and the 600. And I'll just keep making this bigger until that line goes in between there and it gets to the right size. Now, to save time in the video, I already did that. So here it is in my site. So it looks like we have this nice picture in Revit. And what we want to do is now model this plot of land. So we go to massing and site. And then we go to topo surface. Now, it likely won't show what you're about to do. So you want to push VV and come down here to and turn that on. It, probably off. Um, and click OK. And you come down here and you can start placing points. And I'm just going to place the point where I did my measurements. And as soon as I have three, it should start filling something in. And four, it should have the full site. Uh, OK. So now I can click the green check mark and say, yep, I want that there. And then this, you can right click it and hide element. And then that'll be hidden um, unless you want to see it. Now, if you want to see it, you come down to these glasses. And it's actually the one next to them, it's the light bulb. And then there you can see it and select it. And then you can unhide it. So. Anyways, that's how I put the site into my Revit project, and I think it ought to work. So anyways, now you can build anything you'd like there. Uh-oh, how do I end this thing? Stop recording.